Hi everybody. Oh, welcome to uh, my demonstration here. And today I'm going to demonstrate to you dahi batara puri. So it's an Indian word for dahi, which means yogurt, batara, which means potato, and puri, which literally means uh, a stuffed uh, patty in here. So I'm going to stuff it up eventually with certain amount of filling. In this bowl, just plain yogurt. I'm going to add a little bit of salt in there. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. I'm going to add something known as black salt right in there. And then, of course, the toasted cumin seeds and just a little bit of chili powder just to give it that spice. Using that whisk, you're going to blend all of it together and that becomes your dahi. It is really, really necessary to taste the balance of the yogurt. And doing so, you wanna add some salt, maybe a little bit of sugar, just to make sure it's really nice and balanced. So I'm gonna place this on the side for use later on. Now, in this bowl, I'm going to assemble the stuffing that goes into the puris. And for that, I have the batata, which is potato, and I've boiled these potatoes it's fairly, uh, fairly soft, so when I place them in a bowl here, they are going to get slightly mushy when I mix them all up together. So I'll make a little bit batch here. The next is some green lentil. Again, the green lentils have been rehydrated, and then you blanch them, and I'm going to add that to the mixture as well. Raw mango just gives you that lovely sweet and sour flavor. So some raw mango in there. And of course, traditionally diced, really finely diced onion, diced tomato, and generally speaking, it is diced with the skin on. Now, I have all my ingredients in there, and I'm going to season it up again. Some pepper, some salt, a little bit of lemon juice. Last but not the least, fresh coriander leaves. Right in there. Using a spoon, I'm going to mix this all up together. It is okay to mush up or smash that potato in there so that it all comes together. And this is all great to make prepare in advance so that all the flavors actually come out together. Remember, always taste your food prior to serving. Not bad. So I will just add a little bit of cumin in there, a little bit of chili, and I think I'm missing a little bit of salt in there. So again, a mixture, and there we go. So I have my mixture of potato and, and green lentil ready to go to be stuffed. In order to assemble our dahi batara puri, we have our puris ready, the tamarind chutney, the green chutney, the sweetened yogurt, as well as the potato and lentil mixture. So, what we need to do is take this puri and slightly crack it right up on the top. So if you can see, the smaller pieces can go on the bottom, and I'm gonna do a few more. You can either use your fingertips or you can use your thumb. It's really delicate, especially once they are fried crisp. And you wanna just create a slight indent or hole in there so that you can place your stuffing. We have a lentil and potato mixture in here, and we are going to stuff it really, really generously right on the bottom. So care should be taken that if it is too soggy, the puris will tend to crumble on you. So you wanna keep them nice and crisp and add your filling just prior to service. Don't worry about all of this. This can all be eaten really well. You want to top it up with the two types of sauce that you have. So you have the tamarind sauce, and you place them right inside or on top of your potato mixture. Top it up again with your green chutney in there. Last but not the least, the sweetened yogurt. Dropping consistency, okay? 
and you just want to drop it right on top of it. We are going to finish it with some freshly sliced cilantro leaves and something that we call really, really fine sieve. Our presentation, I'm using a black slate and I just want to get a little bit of color on that. So I'm going to use a little bit of chili powder in there just to create a little contrast, but also it does supplement the flavor in case you want that slight edge. So here we have some chaat masala and I'm going to go crisscross in there and your guests will have a choice of picking some of this up or not. So let's finish this platter by assembling our dahi barada puris right on top of them. Again, you want to make sure you have so here you have your dahi barada puris and again you can serve them as an appetizer or a snack and I hope you enjoy it. Happy holidays everyone.